Molly, how are you all? Good, good, I'm good, thank you very much, thanks for asking. Today, I'm going to do the 100 truths that um, both the Everguard and Jilly Jam and some numbers have done, uh, because it seemed like a good idea, and, you know, it's going to be fun. So, put up the list, but first, first, uh, I need to show you someone saw in the back of my a dedicated nerd fighter in the back of my video in the back of, no they weren't in the back of my video they watched the video and noticed that in the back at the uh, bookshelves that the uh, Harry Potter books were in the wrong order now they weren't actually in the wrong order they were just they were in the right order but in reverse um, so if you're watching I made them go the right way just for you. That's my dedication to fans. Um, so 100 truths, that's why we're here. Um, I don't have tea, the same as Chris, which is sad. I could do with some tea with my mug that I put in the dishwasher. So let's go. Number one, real name. Peter Alan. Yeah, Alan. I nearly forgot my middle name there because I... I Whenever someone asks me what my middle name is, I end up saying, oh, it's Alice. Just to, like, add to my feminine side. Because everyone needs a bit, you know? So you can sympathise and empathise. Um, but no, real, okay, real name, Peter Allen Johnson. A lovely, lovely name. Nickname, slash, zzz, nickname, zzz, um, Jeroxy. That's probably my only nickname. Really? Some people call me Pete. Not many people are allowed to. I don't I don't generally I don't say hi I'm Pete and if people come up and they're like, Do I call you Peter or Pete? I say Peter. That's my name, Peter. Not Pete. I'm not some sort of soil. That coincidentally burns quite well I found that out um, not through a bad experience thankfully through general internet extravaganzas zodiac sign I'm a Pisces fishy little fishy which works really well because I love seafood M maybe that doesn't work so well sort of eating my fellow fish um, but I love everything to do with the sea I I wanted to be a marine biologist um, for a while until I realised that most of the time I'd just be sitting in the lab sort of doing a desk job with like data stuff except with things that are more annoying and weird to do with so yeah I'm not going in for that anymore uh, male or female well there was a time when I I walked but no I'm a male through and through got the male short well my hair's all grown out but short hair no breasts everything else <laughs> not gonna go into that uh, primary school St John's um, St John's C of E first and middle school which is just up the road from me and it was lovely lovely childhood secondary school Bishop Ramsey uh, again C of E school which is an amazing school I stayed there for sixth form oh look that's the next one sixth form slash college Bishop Ramsey again um, the teachers there were <coughs> the teachers there were just too nice and did you know that statistically guys stay at their school for sixth form more than females do yeah Women are more likely to go somewhere else. I don't know how that's going to help you in any way, but it might influence your influence your decision. Hair colour. I used to be, when I was born, nice and blonde. And I'm not going to run and get a picture of it because I'm not going to put a picture of my childhood up on here. Bad times. But it, it went darker and darker, and my dad actually has, I think the same was with him, and he now has black hair. So now it's brown, but it's dark brown, and one day it might turn black. 
not racist, not racist. Long or short? Short, for, for me. I, I like my hair quite short. I, well, I say quite short, not a skinhead or a buzz cut. I, I like it to have hair there. Hair is nice, hair is good. Um, but I don't like it because my hair, it doesn't just grow long, it grows thick. It's like a mat that I wear on my head or a cat. I, I look that way because my cat's nearly always there. For once, she's not. But in the summer, with thick hair, you just die every day. <laughs> every day is death. <laughs> um, trying to find where I am. Num no, number 10, loud or quiet. I'm a mix of both. I'm a, I'm a very sort of mixed man. Um, I combine the yin and the yang. So if I'm when I'm in a new situation, I'll normally be quite quiet and reserved and just observe what's going on and what people are doing, see what the relationships are, how people act to each other, and then using that information, then I'll move in and then I can get to be quite bold and loud and deliver speeches in front of everyone. Um, in fact, I, I would quite like to do some sort of public speaking in the future. I, I do like speaking in public. Which is what I'm doing now, really. Except this is slightly more informal. Eleven, sweats or jeans? Well... Neither. Neither. I think out of the two jeans, but my chair's broken again, it, randomly, the thing that keeps the back in place just breaks and it comes undone, so I have to change the handle again. It's quite annoying. Uh, so yes, um, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? So oh yeah, I normally just like normal trousers that aren't either sweats or jeans. There you go. Because jeans, I find that you can't move about enough in them because I'm sort of a nice mobile guy and sweats are a bit too informal for my liking. I like going out where I could just as easily go and run about and jump into a forest or turn the street and walk into a nice restaurant, well, nice-ish restaurant, and sit down and have a meal. Because you never know when you're going to be at a meal and then have to leg it because you haven't got enough to pay the bill. I'm going to stop swaying like this. Probably isn't the most professional thing to do. Phone or camera? Uh, I'll choose my phone because my camera, I've lost the uplink cable for it, so I can't actually use it. And the camera in this is broken. But this allows me to talk to people, and that's infinitely more useful than taking a picture of something, although it is quite cool. Health freak. No. I'm healthy. I do my bit, keep myself in shape, um, try and eat the right stuff, eat my greens, bit of fruit and veg, um, but I don't go out of my way. I don't have a strict diet. I don't have a strict fitness regime. I just go with the flow. Drink or smoke? I, I don't smoke. I tried a cigarette once and I was like, well, no, this isn't for me. So I didn't do any more of that. And drink, I do sometimes. Uh, I, normally I don't with with that's that's a false word it's not going on to anything I don't I normally drink at a party or something when there's uh, lots of people and it's sort of getting into a sort of more relaxed state so you can just sort of socialize more and be more sort of relaxed and stuff I don't go into the uh, pure inebriation stage where you don't know what you're doing don't remember anything because that's not a good time that's not a good time at all why would you do that 
So I just get it into the state where everything's a bit more happy and lucid and free. And actually, I have to say, I drink. I drink on Sundays when I go to church to serve uh, because I serve at church. And when I serve at church, after we've done the wine, um, the wine that's left over, we have to get rid of because we can't just leave it. So we have to drink it. Sometimes there's like an entire glass there and we have to just down it. Great fun, great fun. Uh, the sacrifices I make uh, for the Lord above. Um, hmm, where am I? Piercings. I have none. I don't plan on getting any. Um, I don't see any reason why I would. Tattoos. I don't want a tattoo at the moment, but that's not saying that I'll never get one. And the the white tattoos that I've seen recently um, I've only seen one of them but they, they look quite classy in my opinion so I think if I ever did get one in the future I might I might get one like that um, but that's all up in the air undecided if I do get one I'll come and show you there you go have I ever number 19 been in an aeroplane many a time I, I actually really love uh, air travel. I love flying in planes. Um, plane to LA, plane to Germany, and and back from Germany. Plane from LA to Auckland. Plane from Christchurch to Sydney. Smaller plane from Sydney to Alice Springs small plane from Alice Springs to Townsville no maybe I don't know Cairns that's in France isn't it no that's Calais Cairns I'm sure it's Cairns yeah let's go with Cairns um, a flight from Townsville or something to Sydney, uh, a flight from Sydney to Hong Kong, a flight from Hong Kong back to London, a flight from London to Malawi, well no, London to Nairobi in Kenya, and then a smaller flight to Lilongwe in Malawi, and then a small flight back to Nairobi. Then we had a seven hour wait in a corridor, a long corridor. Um, for our flight back to London so that's 14 in total that I can think of and I think I might have gone to Spain on a plane a couple of times Gibraltar, Lanzarote I'm sure I went on a plane to get there so I've been on a plane quite a few times it's always, it's always nice 20, been in a relationship yes I have, yes I have um, relationships are cool 21 been in a car accident no thankfully um, touch wood that it won't happen soon or at all hopefully been in a fist fight number 22 no but I I sort of would like to be in one at some point but in the right environment or against the right person. I don't know. I don't know. I can't bring myself to just go and attack someone that I, I know because I don't want to hurt them. But I reckon if the right person came along and he was actively trying to, like, hurt me, then I might end up giving, smacking him one. Um, whether he'll smack me harder is yet to be decided. Last, no, firsts, first piercing, non-existent, 24, first best friend, my first best friend uh, would be Joshua Kirby in primary school, in about reception, and I remember that we used to, there was, in, a, in the playground for our first school, there was a big white wall at the back, and you had like little cracks and holes in the wall every now and then and we used to run about and play this game where we had to get little sticks as keys and we had to 
put the keys in the right holes to um, to save the world to stop some evil beast from coming in or something. It was always great fun. I loved that game.